Hey everybody, Anne here, and I've never shared any recipes with any of y'all, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to test my new tiny crock pot and do a cooking video or something. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see here. Let's let's frame this so none of the rest of my messy kitchen gets into this shot. All right, three, two, one. These are all the ingredients you will need to make this hopefully delicious dish. You don't have to have a tiny crock pot to make it yourself. Just make it in a normal size one, but increase the layers and ingredients and whatnot. And before any of you get to harping on me about using ingredients that aren't all organic or are considered prepared foods or whatnot, I just used what I had on hand so I could test out my cute new little thing. And this is what I had. You will need one can of cream chicken soup, some Parmesan sprinkle cheese, some lasagna noodles. I got the semi pre-cooked ones and you know the ones that were a little shorter and without the ruffly edges you'll need some cottage cheese salt pepper and garlic to taste oregano and basil i've got some of each that i grew myself feta cheese mozzarella cheese and of course spinach if you're cooking this in a large crock pot i think it would be safe to say you could use two cans of soup instead of just one all the other ingredients you see here is enough for a normal size meal and just to let you know too i didn't really use any like measurements or anything. I just kind of put on what I thought I needed. You can of course adapt it any way you want it. Anyhow, here we go. First, reconstitute the soup with water. Stir it up real good. Pour a little bit into the bottom of the crock. Put one layer of lasagna noodles in. I had to break mine up a bit, but that's okay. It's all going to the same place anyway. Put in a pinch of each oregano and basil. You could do all the seasonings at once during this step, but I added the others a little bit later. Anyhow, put spoonfuls of cottage cheese on top of that. Next, add some crumbled feta cheese, then the spinach, just little clumps. And if you're using frozen spinach, make sure it's defrosted and all the extra moisture is squeezed out. I went ahead and put the salt, pepper, and garlic in now, but you know, you could have put those in at any time. So just make sure you add a little bit to each layer. Next comes the mozzarella cheese, then Sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top of that. Pour some more soup on top of that layer and repeat each layer until your crock is full. Once full, the last layer will only contain lasagna noodles, cottage cheese, feta cheese, basil, oregano, and the other seasonings if you want. Then pour more soup over the top of all that. Last thing you do is sprinkle on some more Parmesan. Cover your crock with a lid and set on whatever setting you want except keep warm. I set mine on high because I was hungry and wanted it to be done quickly. Once it looks like all the liquid or most of it has been absorbed into the noodles, it's done. Voila! I let mine cook for about four hours total, two hours on high and two on low. Um, let it sit for a little while because the sauce will thicken up a little bit. Now, I have to tell you though, don't make the same mistake I did. I put the layers up too high, causing it to bubble up and over the sides. I lost all the cheese on top basically, so I sprinkled a little bit more mozzarella and Parmesan at the end. Also, the high setting is too high, honestly, for this dish to be cooked for four hours. It was probably done at about two hours, seriously, but I was busy and I I just turned the heat down because it looked like there was still so much liquid left to be absorbed. So what did it look like? Plate it up. Well, the layers fell apart because as it turns out, there was just too much liquid. I would have been just fine using the can without it being diluted or even just half of the mixed soup. But even though it looks like cat vomit, it was so, so, so good. The combination of the cream chicken soup along with the cheeses and spinach was really, really savory. So even though it doesn't look pretty, it tasted good and the process let me know that this tiny little crock pot is going to work out just fine for meals in the van. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this amazing cooking with Anne's tiny life video, please crack one of the thumbs and subscribe too. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified when I put out another Martha Stewart tier video just like this one. Y'all have a good one.